These are the best glitches for villagers in Lego Fortnite. Now I'm going to show you guys that intro glitch that was given to me by my friend Shmoo. She provided all of the footage for that. So shout out to her down in the comment section if you guys can. Now I'm also going to show you guys a second glitch or trick that you guys can use with all of the villagers that you get from that glitch to ensure that you guys are maximizing the abilities that come from every single villager in every single village. Now what I want to do is show you guys the glitch which that is to get any villager that you guys want in the game. Now, the first part of this is the most difficult part about the entire thing, and that is finding a villager spawn in your seed. Now, the way that this works is there are little villages all scattered around the map, and some of them contain a free villager. When you talk to them, you could ask them to come to your base. Now, once you find one of those, which again is very difficult to do, you're then going to build or run far away to where it out renders in that seed so you can no longer see that area now when you go back to that area what you're going to find is a second villager there in this case we saw Rex now you can repeat this process over and over and over again to continue to see more and even different villagers every single time so if you guys repeat this process four or five times you guys could eventually find every single rare villager that you guys want in the game now the two largest mistakes that people make in lego fortnite is number one not using their villagers to their maximum potential and number two not having their bases close enough together now when you take a look at mine i have my baby blue village i have my orange village and i have my gray village now these these are separated by shore biome my grasslands biome and my dry valley biome now the other thing that works extremely well for this is these are all very close proximity which means that i can go from my gray village down to my blue village over to my orange village back up to my gray village and continue this cycle of collecting resources every single day from my villagers now if you guys want to maximize the jobs that are being done by your villagers simply break every single machine but one of them depending on what you have them on the job for so i'm going to give you guys two examples in this video here and this first one is going to be for cooking now what you guys saw that i did was i destroyed every single juicer and then every Every single grill that is in my village now what I'm going to do is just place down five ovens now essentially what this does is it bugs out the game and it tricks your villagers into only using these machines so there is no gathering resources or bringing home any of these types of foods that they cannot build in your base if you have a grill or if you have a juicer what you're going to find is your villagers are going to give you stuff from the grill and the juicer however if I only want items that are going to fill my HP and also fill my hunger, I'm going to put every single one of my villagers onto the cook food task and they're all going to work on the oven and give me maximum pies every single day. Now, when it comes to my dry valley village, it is the perfect village to show you guys exactly how this trick or method works. I have all five of my villagers creating textiles. Now there's two items that you guys can go ahead and get from that, which is silk fabric and wool fabric which are very rare in the game however when creating textiles there are two machines they can work on one is the loom and one is the spinning wheel so what you guys need to do is break that spinning wheel and only have that loom so that the only item that they're giving you is the very rare silk fabric and wool fabric so rather than going out and finding sheep and spiders or anything else that you need in order to create these two materials you could simply find people like lion brand hanging out underneath staircases for no reason whatsoever we'll talk to him about that later and you could find yourself with a large stacks of these fabrics or any item that you want in the game simply by running your stacks just like this now i did go back to my shore biome just a few minutes after i set them on this assignment and what you guys are going to see is like i said they will only work on items that are inside of the oven the other really important thing to note here is that you do not need to have the materials in order for them to make certain items i do have cheese at this biome however they're not going to touch that 
in order to make me my pizza pie. So when you have the other pies, they will give you those, but they don't use anything from your chest or anything from your inventory to make it. So in just a few short minutes, what you guys can see is that I got nine pizza pies, six fruit pies, seven meat pies, and 11 pumpkin pies or vice versa in this one little run. Now your villagers are and always will be the real MVP when it comes to this game, which is why you absolutely have to abuse it as much as you can. Having five villagers in every single village or every single biome, as well as having them extremely close to each other is going to be what sets your village and your areas apart from anybody else that's playing this game. The way that I work mine right now is I have my five villagers working on one set of items that I absolutely need. And I have all three of my biomes or all three of my villages working on three different types of items. So like I said, I may have one of them that is working on those silk and wool threads, one of them that is working on food, that way I can go and travel a little bit easier, and the other one may be just working on some ruby or some cut amber, not ruby because they don't work on that yet, but I do have them working on different items each area. That way I get a large stack of it and I know I do not need to go and look for that item. I know a lot of people will argue that it is better to scatter them around and have all 15 or all 20 of them working on different things. That way you're getting a variety of items. However, for me, I know exactly what I'm trying to do in the game. So I try to make sure that my players are working on something extremely specific at all times. Now, if you guys don't remember, I do have a video out there that actually breaks down some of the rarities in your villagers and then what their special abilities are in the game if you guys don't know what that is players like tomato head can actually cook faster than other players now this isn't that effective if you guys are roaming out and about and come back to your village every 30 minutes or every hour as most of these players will finish at the same time but if you are hanging out around them and you're waiting them for or waiting for them to make your food and finish your food some players do it much faster than others so using this trick or this glitch that shmoo gave us the footage for is absolutely awesome to do if you want to stack certain villages for certain jobs so stacking specific villagers specifically to make yourself some food is an awesome way to use this glitch hopefully both of these tricks and glitches help you guys out in your lego fortnite world with new updates coming out very shortly you want to make sure that your villagers are absolutely stacked to the grills so i hope that both of these tricks helped you guys don't forget Forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, this was Crafty, and I'm out. Peace.